Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we are working on the 34 Ford project again. Uh, I did a fun little quick project making the tag light in the last video, uh, basically just to kind of uh, break up some of the the not so fun work that we've been doing with wiring and different stuff like that. So it's nice to make a little quick project that was satisfying. Now. We have to get to some of the stuff I've been putting off for a while. So I took a look inside the gas tank and uh, it has a lot of varnish in it, some old gas. And also it's not set up for an electronic fuel gauge for our store water fuel gauge. So there's a bunch of things going against us. So I've decided I need to pull the tank after, uh, before we film this, uh, draining the old crappy fuel, looking inside of it and everything. It's just, I probably need to swap the tank. The nice thing is, is that Bob Drake makes a tank that's sold through Speedway, Max, a bunch of different places that um, is set up for, uh, has the whole cut for putting electronic uh, gauge sender in there for the fuel level, and also has the fuel outlet uh, on the front of the tank so you can actually get to it. The original tank has it like on top of the tank, so you actually have to pull the whole tank out to even get to the fuel line to take it off, which is a total mess. So I'm gonna work on getting that out first. Uh, and then we're gonna also work on getting some of the wiring that's run to the back of the car there. We're gonna wire up the tail lights. Uh, we're gonna try to wire up the headlights and we're gonna wire up the tag light. Yes, I'm wiring the tag light for all you people that are asking. We're not just putting it on there. So we're gonna wire that up too and uh, we'll get all that stuff ready uh, so that we're ready for our new fuel tank. So let's get started. Pulling a gas tank on one of these cars is kind of a pain in the butt and I've been putting it off but um, what we need to do is pull this rear panel right here off. We gotta pull the bumper off. Of course, my cool little license plate mount. Um, and then there is a brace behind the license plate mount with, that was for the spare tire holder. Um, and there's a connecting bar that goes in between, um, in between the frame there in the back. So we gotta get all that out and then we could squeeze it out. Uh, I, I've never done one of these, but it looks like it is going to be a very tight fit. So I have to pull the tank out and then we can really be sure we can blow the fuel lines out and everything uh, and get it really good. The more I started thinking about it, it's like if I half-ass clean this, it's going to end up clogging on me and giving me trouble as I'm driving the car and I'm going to be extremely annoyed. So might as well do it now and tear the car a little further apart um, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to start taking this apart and I'll show you guys the process along the way, of course. All right, so I got the rear panel off, I got the spreader bar off with the brace, um, and uh, we got up the couple of, I don't know, three or four bolts to hold the gas tank in place. So we're, we're loose here, and as you can see, it slips out the back, but we got um, right here is where our fuel lines and everything attach that we need to uh, take a look at. So I need to get to that stuff so we can loosen them 
So we got the one line here, which is our feed. So we just got to get that um, loose in there. And then there's one little one in there, I think for, for the original filler, or I'm sorry, filler, um, gauge. So, I would say this is one of my least favorite designs, the Havold Fords, when they hid the gas tank behind this, where we have to lift the freaking body to take it on and off. Not a good design. <laughs> So we pulled the bracket off of the rear fender. There's a little cover, uh, here it is, that goes on the back side. That actually kind of covers the wiring and makes it tough to try and just fish it through the light stand. So we pulled that off, just two nuts. So we're gonna work on uh, pulling this old wiring off the light, see what we got to work with, and then take apart the driver's side as well. Start running some new wires. All right, so you're mounting up the turn signal switch. Yes, yeah, so we found, we're going through all the stuff from um, from Larry when he took the car apart. We found the original Signal Stat 900 uh, turn signal setup, which is, uh, I have like the, almost the same one in my coupe. Uh, it's just chrome. Uh, these things are awesome. They light up and blink when you're, uh, when you're using them. And uh, they're actually pretty easy to find wiring diagrams on the interwebs because um, people have scanned them and they use them quite often. So we're going to be putting this, it actually mounts to the side of the column here. So I put a little wrap of tape. Uh, the other nice thing is this is right where my set screws are for the bushing that we made for the steering column. So by putting this with a little strap around it, it will not have a chance to ever come loose because it's also held tight. Um, not that it would, but it's just an extra safety feature, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, so we got our little strap here. But it's kind of cool putting this stuff back on, thinking that Larry was the last one to touch it, to touch it or do this, and we're putting this back on. So we found the wiring diagram. We looked at the at the wiring itself. Uh, one nice thing is when Larry took this car apart, a lot of this stuff was not very old, and the wiring is actually in really nice shape. And it's labeled. Yeah, and it's labeled. And anything we can't read from his old labels, we can easily go on the wiring diagram. And we actually started double checking and it all <clears throat> matches between the, the coloring of the switch to the diagram that we found, so. We can run this all down um, and then we can start connecting our, our different connectors. So I'm gonna get this all mounted up here, find a good position for that turn signal rotation wise and then uh, we can start wiring that up and running some wires from the fuse box back to the back of the car. All right, so we got our new wiring on the one tail light. These are dual filament. So one is going to be running lights. The other is going to be our stop lights slash flasher. So I'm gonna work on routing these back across the car and then work on the other rear tail light. And then we will work on fishing wires up to the front. We also have a piece of chipboard where we're marking down uh, wiring colors so we don't get confused halfway through the project and wire it all incorrectly, which is bound to happen.
like watching paint dry. Is that heat shrink built into the connector? Yeah. Is that an Eastwood product? I don't know. It's just in my random thing of wiring. But they're super nice. <laughs> but I'm almost out of them, so wherever I got them. I didn't know if that was part of the crimp right kit. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And then I usually shrink wrap even further out just to... Shrink wrap on shrink wrap? Just to be safe. Sounds a little bit like Inception. Man. Somebody's going to yell at me because I'm overdoing it. Stop melting the connector. Am I? No, I don't know. I can't see from all the way over here. No, people people yell at you for overdoing stuff. All right, so the fuse box is hidden up under there. Way under there. We put a little... Um, this had an inline fuse and it just with a ring terminal that just went to a main power. So to kind of simplify things or make it a little cleaner, we just put a, a spade connector on here that goes right to our fuse box and we'll have the fuse in the fuse box. And then it's got a little, just simple, real simple three spade, uh, three, three, prong. three prong, three terminal uh, flasher. So we'll see if this one works. If it doesn't, we can easily get another three prong. No big deal. Um, and it's got a little bracket that's built in. You, you know, put a little screw or whatever in. So we're gonna mount that somewhere up in here that's out, up out of the way with a screw, however. Um, and then we can run this right into the fuse box up top here. Um, then all of our wiring, there's already a hole. With a, that's the main feed for the fuse box there. And yes, we're gonna put a grommet there before everybody starts blowing their, fu blowing their fuse. Yes. We're putting a grommet there when everything's all set and done. We'll put a little split grommet in there. Um, so we gotta run all these wiring here that goes down. I have a tape to the steering column. It's gonna actually fish up behind the dash to keep it kind of out of view. And it'll run along and go down into the firewall. So and you just gotta split off for the cow lights because we're gonna be using them as our turn signals. And marker lights. And marker lights. So Just separate like out. Were back in the day. Yeah, front and rear. And uh, get this thing flashing in no time. Yeah, flashing. All right, so we got headlights and marker lights and almost turn signals, but we have a couple more things to connect and we're running out of time for the day. So uh, a lot done in a, you know, over a couple day period of work. Um, we got the gas tank out. As I sort of alluded to, we can't use that gas tank uh, just because of the gas uh, sender. And also it just has all that varnish and junk in it. I'm not feeling confident that I'm gonna clean it out. And then the thing isn't gonna give us trouble with clogging fuel filters. A new tank from Bob Drake, I think cost me like 300 bucks for a brand new tank. It has the, the holes cut out and the thread pattern for like VDO, um, store water and a couple other different types of like universal senders, float senders. So we're gonna go with that. So I should have that in in about a week. Um, and I other, also ordered a couple other odds and ends. We got the wiring, like a huge progress on the wiring because the headlights, turn signals, brake lights, all that stuff, that's like kind of the majority of the wiring on these cars. All that's left is some stuff for the charging system, a couple other odds and ends, and the wiring will be pretty much done. Uh, so once we get wiring, get the gas tank in, we'll get that all sealed up and we'll be on our way to getting it running and driving. And I'm really excited to uh, get that all together. So small little update, as I always say, small victories. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you later. Well, tailgates. And then... Oh, wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Working. I'm nervous he's gonna break something. What do you think? Dirty. Is it dirty? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.